your first alert weather with meteorologist Abigail Degler. Nice cool start to the morning. I'm liking it. Yeah, really nice. No rain in the forecast, really. No rain in the forecast. A nice stretch of days. If like not it. today, get outdoors sometime this week. Okay. Yes. That's your assignment from Roll Abigail Degler. <laughs> and enjoy it because this is false fall, as we like to call it. We get a couple of these a year, uh, but right now we are talking about the 50s for startup temperatures, maybe even a light jacket as you roll out of bed and make plans for your day. Because once again, talking about the 50s, a little bit cooler than what we're used to for this time of year. Our normals are in the 60s, so we're a little below average here. Extra time may be needed for visibility issues and sunglasses to help you see a little bit better once that sun is officially up as we go into next hour. Mass and camera struggling here a little bit. We might move past it, but temperatures in the 50s to start off your day and having some issues. Not quite this much of an issue of seeing uh, with the ground there. We do have a little bit of fog trying to develop in a few areas down in Coleman as well as towards the shoals and in portions of Madison County. Visibility is being impacted by the development of some fog and helping to aid in that. We are seeing some calm winds that's helping to help it uh, grow a little bit and spread out and the lack of sunshine. Once that sun is officially up, that will help to break apart whatever fog we still have. And eventually when these winds start kicking out of the north northeast, that will help break it apart as well. So just plan accordingly for your morning hours. Make sure those low beams are on and you're getting to your destination safely into the 60s by mid morning into the 70s by late morning. And as you can see, it's a gradual climb into the 80s by the time we hit our daytime highs and that's around three o'clock to the five o'clock hour. So we are not doing too bad. And with the 80s below average already talking about these north northeast winds, it's going to feel cooler than what we're used to and a nice little taste of fall before we get that reminder that we're still technically in summer for just a little while longer. Seeing that sunset earlier and earlier, we're approaching that equinox, so we'll have equal parts of day and night as we head into the next week. But until then, we are losing a little bit of daylight. And as we get into the evening hours, noticing those temperatures falling, that lack of cloud coverage that acts as a blanket when we do have it in place. Without it, whatever heat we've accumulated throughout the day just lifts up. And so we are cooling down once again, a little below average for this time of year as we head into the overnight hours of your Thursday. So another comfortable startup temperature but a little bit of a change in the pattern. Still noticing clear skies, still noticing no threat for rain and winds from the north for the most part, but a slight increase in those temperatures. We'll see the 80s still, but an increase nonetheless. We will talk about closer to average temperatures as we head into your Thursday and your Friday. But once again, still a gorgeous stretch of days. Look at the next 10. No complaints here, and I like to complain, I'll, I'll be honest. But as we look at temperatures, looking at the 80s, uh, flirting with the 90s, not quite making it there, and then we roll into fall officially on Thursday, next Thursday, that is with temperatures right around average with startup temperatures in the 60s. All right, Abigail, thank you.